The number of cylinders to fill would be dependent on the lab or what people say. So make sure you know how many to fill. So before you put the concrete into the molds, you need to make sure you have sprayed any of your molds with a lubricant. So you can squirt it around the upper surface and you can go lower if you want. If you end up getting a puddle in the mold, make sure you can turn it over and drip out any oil you have. You want to take the same scoop and add concrete. And for this one, you want to fill it in two lifts. So fill it halfway full. And we will rot it. Again, you want to penetrate one inch into the previous layer and 25 times. If you end up using other cylinder sizes, you will need to look up rod size and how many times to rod it and also how many lifts. It also says that you should hit them on the side. You can do this with a mallet um, by just tapping the side, or you can do it with the rod if you want. We're gonna, we had filled it about halfway. In this case, we're gonna fill it to the top with a little mound for each one. So when you have a mound on top, we're gonna do the last lift of 25 times, penetrate into the previous layer a little bit, or about an inch into the previous layer. Like the last one, we want to hit it with the side, with the mallet, or with the rod, and 12 times total. As you can see, a lot of them, they tend to sink, so we'll fill it up to the top again. Now, we've rotted it all. We're ready to finish it either with the finishing tool, or you can use the rod, and I'll show you both ways. One, if you're using the finishing tool, you want to start in the middle, and again, use a sawing motion to get down, and then move it to the side. And then again, start in the middle, saw to the side. The whole thing should be flush to the cylinder. All right, that's a striking off action. If you want to use the rod, you can start in the middle and saw down to the middle and then go off to the side. When you have your cylinders done, you want to put them in a spot that the TA or instructor shows you. Um, you can label them on the outside with a marker or you can put a sheet of paper with them but we'll keep them as they are. We're gonna take it and flip the cylinder upside down. There should be a hole that's pre-made for you by the TA. If you can't find the hole, ask your TA for help. Uh, once you find the hole, you wanna take the air hose, which is off of the wall. It's, make sure you turn on the air if it isn't already. Um, you want to line it up for the hole and squeeze the pressure and it should take the cylinder off. All right.